So the first question which I got from one of the students whom I, or which I did not um, come across during hunting and uh, uh, foods, the question says that we know that the dog's saliva is nedges. So what's the ruling when we use the dog as a tool to hunt game? And that's a very good question. The answer is that Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in the Quran to eat from whatever these trained dogs catch for you and remember the name of Allah or mention the name of Allah. So if I get my trained hound and I see a rabbit and I tell my hound catch and my hound runs after the rabbit and I say Bismillah and my hound runs and it catches the rabbit. I can eat. Allah did not mention in the Quran I should wash. Now some schools of thought such as Shafi'i school of thought and, and one of the verdicts of Imam Ahmad and others say that you have to wash the area where the dog has bitten because it's najis. And some even went further to say wash it seven times with water and one with soil. And the most authentic opinion, and this is the second opinion, which is the opinion of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and also a Shaykh ibn Athaymeen, may Allah have mercy on their souls, say that this is negligible and overlooked because neither in the Quran nor in the Sunnah we were commanded to do this, though the issue of dogs hunting was mentioned in the Quran and also it was mentioned in a number of hadiths. So the Prophet had never ever والسلام, mentioned it. So it seems that this is overlooked and the tendency is what is halal was mentioned, what is haram was also mentioned and what was not mentioned it is something that Allah has forgiven us and this is part of what was forgiven so we should not look into it and Allah knows best.